Miles Beckler here again. In this video, we're going to go back into the Facebook pixel code and we're actually going to set it up for the conversions. So this is kind of the advanced step for the Facebook pixel, uh, the tracking pixel. If you missed the first video and you don't have your base code in place, uh, click the link in the description. Go do that first because this is the advanced step and this only works once you have your base code in the head section of every single page on your website. Uh, really easy to do. I covered it in like five or six minutes on the last video. So do that first. Come back here. If you're ready for this, let's jump right in. Uh, you already know what the pixel is. Let me get myself out of the way. And so we go inside of the ads manager and you click on the three lines and to all tools and we go to pixels. Now we're on the Facebook pixel and we want to go to actions and view the pixel code and it's going to bring up the little pop up. So this is what we covered in the last video, the install basic code. Uh, it's very, very simple to do. Go ahead and get that done. And then on step two, what we're doing is we're installing event code, right? So this is to track the actions that happen on our website, whether it's a Facebook ad or whether it's not. And they have about nine standard events and we'll take a look at them real quick. Um, so there's a search using your search function, view content, add to cart, add to wish list, initiate checkout, which usually means going to the, the checkout page, adding the payment info. That would be like a two-step checkout page, completing a purchase. This would be them reaching your thank you page after they bought a product of yours. When they become a lead, this is the one we're going to work with today. This is the most important one to track from the get go. Um, so really this can this is designed to help you no matter what kind of business you have right like this is designed to help big businesses and small businesses i consider us online marketers and internet marketers and info marketers we're we're pretty much on the small side of the business the amount the number of these you're going to need to use is relatively slim so let's go to the view content I'm going to put the view content onto my landing page. I want to track specifically how many people reach the landing page. Then we're going to put the lead content onto the actual page they get to once they opt in for our free report, right? They've taken the first step in the funnel. They've gone to the next step in the funnel, and that's where this code will be used. Now, one thing to notice is up here, you'll, you'll see that there's this basic recommended and advanced. So they're recommending we put in our value and the currency, the value of the leads. They're trying to get you to give them data on how valuable their marketing is and how valuable their traffic is. If you want the most simple version, just take the basic. And if you notice, all it's doing here is track lead and that's it. Recommended says track lead value of the lead is $10 in the currency that it's in. If you don't know your lead value yet, that's fine. Just run it on the basic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to click there to copy it and I have a notepad file here. So this is my lead, Oop, not keyed. And I just paste that there and I'm going to grab the view content as well. Click there to copy. And again, this is so imperative to do. You got to get your tracking because we have to measure everything we're doing. Now this is for an opt-in funnel, which is what I'm working with here. If you had a funnel that took people to a checkout page and also if they purchase I would absolutely use the add to cart code and on the purchase I would let's say they purchased a $17 product I would take this code and I would put that there and you just simply modify this right so if it was a $17 product let's say you only make $16 on that $17 product I would put 16 like if there's a transaction fee for example so that's it so this I would put on the page essentially the thank you page the page that they reach after they purchase 
This one goes on the checkout page, the page where they actually enter their credit card information, and it's done the exact same way. So all we're going to do on this one is put in the lead code real quick just to show you the process because once you go through it once, whether it's ClickFunnels or Thrive Themes, you just go do the same thing on the appropriate pages uh, with whatever system you have. So this is how I do it. I come grab all of my snippets and then I go get them in place. One more thing to keep in mind here before we actually go install this code is that you need to make sure that you put this in the body tag. Now I know it said that somewhere. Where did it say? Right, paste event code, right? So be sure not to insert the event code inside of the head tags. So what we did last time was put the base code in the head tag. So this code needs to go into a different location to say when the specific page loads, right? So we've already got the head tag stuff done. I just want to make sure you know it doesn't go in the same place as the last video, hence this having a new video. And let's go put this in a place. So first thing we're going to do is let's go into ClickFunnels and we'll go into our ClickFunnels funnel here. And when this loads, before we went into the overall settings of the funnel, and now I'm going to go to the thank you page because this is where they go after they opt in. And this is the page they see. We're going to click edit page and it's going to load the actual page here for us. And I'm taking our lead code and I'm just copying it while it loads. And there it goes. So now we're inside of the page they reach when they're done opting in. So this means they've become a lead at this point. So I click settings. I go to tracking codes. And let me get myself out of the way here. So we want to go into the footer custom tracking. And you'll see it says add Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel here. So we actually paste that little snippet of script right there. And we click save. And that's it. We're done at this point. So what happens is in the head of this page, when it loads after a visitor subscribes to our list, the head loads the base code. And then when the footer on this page loads, it loads this little extra snippet that says, you know, to the head code, hey, the person who came to this page is now a lead and it will track them as a lead in your Facebook ad system. And then you can remarket to the leads. You can see what kind of a conversion rate you have, etc. all right in Facebook. So we've saved this and let's just go back real quick. And if you wanted to, um, and I would recommend doing this, go through the process. Um, it, it's worth it. But what I'd need to do here, since I have two variations, is I'd have to go into each one of these and edit the page, grab my view content script. Let me get myself out of the way there. Right. So I'd need to add this to each one. So if you set this up before you set up your first split test, you're actually going to save yourself some time because when you create a split test, it's going to automatically copy that content over. Uh, you can see it says add the Facebook pixel there. So this one's my view content and I'm clicking save. And that's it. So if your funnel has a product and you've got a checkout page, which is doable here in ClickFunnels, and you've got a thank you page where you deliver the product, add each snippet to the specific pages just the same way. Settings, then you go to tracking codes, and then you put it in the footer. Super simple. So let's jump over to the dashboard here in WordPress. So this is if you're not using a ClickFunnels based uh, funnel and you're running it on Thrive Themes, this is how you would set it up here. Uh, really simple. So I've got a page that they go to after they opt in and I will go load that page here in the dashboard. And I search by date, it'll pull it up right here. So we've got the your free training is the page that they go to after they opt in. And you'll notice it's just got my basic. I just kind of threw this together real quick um, because we, I'm using different code just for kind of explainer purposes. This isn't the actual snippet I use for my business. Um, so you have the page that you deliver the free thing. This is where they go after they opt in as a lead. And then down at the bottom, you'll notice there's this Thrive theme options and click the drop down and you see custom code, right? And now the custom code has header scripts, body scripts, body scripts. Now, we already put the head code in and we know we don't want this in the head. So we're skipping this and we're putting it here in the opening body script. So this is the lead code because this is the page they go to once they become a lead. 
and we click there and we paste that there and we click update and that's it so at this point in both click funnels and in thrive themes on wordpress i have added in not only the header code the base tracking code which we did in the last video but we've added in our event tracking which is incredibly powerful and it's it's required so if you're going into facebook pay-per-click marketing you must add these tracking codes because we can't improve that which we don't measure so this is our measuring stick if you will and we'll be able to pull all of the data on out of how many clicks from our ads turn into leads and we can then begin to optimize our funnel, optimize our marketing to increase the number of leads that we get for every paid subscriber or every paid click we get from Facebook. So that's it. It's super simple. You can do this yourself or you can just copy all those snippets down, send it to your dev person if you have a developer you work with. I'm Miles Beckler and I'm happy to be able to share this information with you here on YouTube. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up here on YouTube and go ahead and click subscribe so you can get the next videos in the series when they become available. If you have any questions about the tracking code, about Facebook tracking, tracking and this pay-per-click stuff, leave me a comment below. I'm happy to answer your questions. I thank you very much for your time and I will see you on the next video.